I do think also, though, I want to say something. I know America is the most failed nation in the world, but there are a lot of women in the world, especially oh. in other places, and especially in America as well. There's a lot of women who understand exactly what we're saying and understand that their purity is an asset and it should be protected at all costs. There are a lot of women who actually very much understand for me to be respected. The ones that are already done it, that are New York City, that were 23 and 24, and all the guys had cocaine at 6 in the morning, and they were doing it their whole lives, and now He's they laughing. get older and they stop, and then all of a sudden they're like, okay, fuck. What do I do? I can't go against this because, like, everybody already knows I've done it. So then they're like, oh, fuck these guys, they're misogynists, and this whole thing. I said this, I love sluts. Like, it's, I don't, I don't know. It just, it, it's, it's a weird dynamic how I got into this whole thing because I'm not like the big misogynist guy, but. Well, I don't know. Okay. It's not I know, misogynistic. Now I'm like, it's not misogynistic to have an opinion, and it's not misogynistic to have a standard. For me yeah. to wake up and say, I want a wife who has been exclusive or has been very hard to access. It's just a standard, and we're allowed to have standards. They've attacked masculinity to such a point now where if you have any kind of standard as an individual, they're going to call you a misogynist. You're not allowed to hold women accountable for anything. Their own actions, what they've done, their past, their history, no. You're not allowed to have an opinion on it, or they're going to call you misogynistic, which is obviously insane, and that's, a, that's what they're going to do.